Cleveland, Oakland, Alex Wood was not good. Shane Bieber was phenomenal. And the main story at the Coliseum was the boycott going on outside. There were only 13,000 people inside the stadium for opening day, which is the lowest total in Oakland, pandemic seasons aside, since the 70s. Embarrassing. The gates were not open until like an hour before the game. The ownership group in Oakland clearly despises the fans who have decided to fight back against the A's moving to Vegas. The atmosphere outside in the parking lot seemed to be really interesting, really powerful, really emotional. A lot of tears, a lot of people kind of coming to grips with the fact that the team they love, like this is their last opening day in Oakland. Really a sad, melancholy day, and it's no surprise that the team uh, that has been neglected on the field uh, was undermanned and overmatched. Yeah, and again, we we try and do our best to separate what is happening on the field. And I, I mean, not that it's not related. We know that, but we, yeah. we you know it's it's hard to to put so much on these players that are just you know literally doing their best in a really crappy situation. It's it's a it's a pretty somber start to what is going to be a tough a tough go here. So, um, and I don't want to overreact too much because of the lineup he was facing. But boy, this paper, I mean, he looks fantastic in spring. He's throwing harder for sure. If him and McKenzie are, are healthy, that is not a team to take lightly. 